I'm going to show you how to use JSX in Vue. So one of the things I've heard from React developers is that they really like JSX and they would like to not have to use Vue templates. Even though I do love Vue template, I think it's amazing because it reads like HTML. I can understand that if you're used to JSX, this might be like something you don't want to switch to. So don't worry, Vue also got you covered. So I'm going to show you how you can use JSX today in a view project so let's scaffold a new project with mps create view we're going to say this is a view we just give you gxs we don't want type scripts we want gss support so this is the bit that you have to pay attention to because this will install the vid plugin that makes you write gxs in view okay so we're going to say yes for that we don't want router we don't want state management no testing no or no es lint we just want to quickly do this so we do view gxs now and we are going to run npm install to install the dependencies. Okay, so now that all the dependencies are installed, we can now run npm run dev to see what we've got. So we're just going to go to localhost 5173. And you could see we have the basic view scaffold. So what we want to do is to actually delete a lot of this code, right? So if we check the scaffold, um, let's see, we have a lot of view components here and we don't want view components. So we're just going to delete this. I'm going to leave just the hello world for this demo and app.view. All right. So if we look at app.view, you could see it's, it's importing the couple of stuff. So let's start with the hello world component. So we're going to remove this because we don't need it anymore. So let's start with the hello world component and see how we could transform this into a GXS um, component. So we're going to do GXS like so. And of course, it's going to error out. Um, let's close this. So view gives you a nice function that helps you define components. So we're going to use this to define a new JXS component, right? So what we're going to do is we could see that this hello world component has like a prop message. So we're going to do export default first of all because the defined components will return back the JXS component. So we want to export that so we can import it elsewhere. So the first thing we're going to do props, we're going to say message, we're going to say the type is string and what is required, just the same thing we have down there. And here we're going to do render, it's going to take in a function that's going to return GXS. Okay, so now we could copy this bit, this is going to be our GXS and we could put it in here and one last thing since we're in gxs we're not going to use the double curly braces we're going to use a single one to conform to, to the gxs syntax so now we could delete all of this we don't need them anymore just going to move everything so that we have like a simple gxs component so this is it we have this now done so note um we we'll define the props with the props option then we we'll set a render so this will render the gxs okay so next we need to go to app.view first of all we're going to turn this into gxs just the same way we did the last one then of course we're going to do import the define components function from view let's close this then we're going to export defaults define components and since this component doesn't have any prop we could have a function right that's ret that we could do return here a gxs so we can just simply return the hello world so just pass in a message call it hola for example and we haven't imported this yet i probably just want to set and close this since we don't have anything in between. So let's import the component. Import hello world from form from components. Hello world, like so. And now we could delete all this. So I'm just going to remove everything to keep this pretty, pretty simple. So we've got our component might not have any styling but of course we, we get the idea we could always add our styles if we want to do that so next i'm just going to start this up again on dev 
and of course this break because we need to do one more thing here we're importing the view but we don't longer have the view we have the gxs right so now we have to import the gxs here and if we go back to app the gxs so this is not showing because we didn't destructure our prop here so now when we destructure the prop so the render we're taking props like so and you could do props dot message if you want to but we could just do exes destructure so you know make it like easy so that's basically it this is how you get jsx in view so notice a couple of things in view on like react with class name we don't have that so view i really like this view version of jsx because you could use class and your you know in react for the four attribute in html you have to use html4 but for this one you don't really have to do that so let me show you a couple of things we can actually modify app.gxs so let's change this back to app.view for a bit okay and i'm going to show you why and how handy this can be okay so the the first thing we want to do all right is to now make this a script to give it a lang of jxs okay and it's going to be our setup in view and um we could even have the define component in there we, we might use it i'll show you how so we're going to just do the imports here and um yeah let's render this as normal view template so we're going to have a template and now we could do hello world then we'll do message hey there just to show that stuff changed and um so let's let's reload this yes of course we've made this we made some change to app.view so we need to update main.js to make sure that this is now view and not the jxs that we had before okay pretty pretty handy so you could see we can import jxs here and the cool bit is you could actually have jxs inline so we could do another component for example like so and we could just pass in this is valid gss in view all right and we can use it here that's it really you could do that if you want to use the define component too to define a component you could do that in here as well and then you could just use it so um yet another component okay so we could do the fine components here since we don't want like we we don't want to take in any props we could do return and we could just return um what let's say h4 or h3 again yet another component okay and here's we could use it here yeah so one last thing i want to show you is most people that are used to react they like the idea that you can have um more than one component in a file i really like view single file components it's not really a problem for me but if you like that idea so it nothing stops you from doing it because like i said the define component returns a new jxs component right so we could we could say here right like we want like um let's say we want to abstract this h3 into its own components here that's simple so let's call this one let's say success message i don't know so we could define components and we are just gonna um since we're not returning anything like there's no props or what so we just do return and return the function which is going to return our gxs so since we have more than one elements here like so i'll probably just move it like this and now we could just easily replace this bit with success message like this and it's going to work at least so to prove that it's working you socially created a project you've successfully made let's change this to made 
you could see it all work so you could have as much components as you want in here and if you love this workflow this is just good for you so you have all the power the performance of view uh, but you could write in gxs so most people think gxs is like a react thing it's not really a lot of languages actually uses these days like like you know, you know the dot astro files in astro uses a gxs like syntax as well so this is how you could set up gxs in view remember just use the view cli to scaffold it and choose gss support and um, view would install a vid plugin which is this vid plugin vid plugin view vgs slash plugin dash view dash gxs which makes this all possible and you could see you import the defined component function from view that helps you define a component so you, if there's no props in your component you could just pass in a callback that will return the gxs all right and remember uh, unlike react gss in views class you could use class for your html classes not class name and for your html4 you could also use for and not html4 so i hope you you see now how easy it is to set up gxs in view and it will be one more hurdle removed in your way of adopting and trying out view so if um yeah so let me know what you think about using gss in view and if this would motivate you to get started adopting view today so before you go please like this video and also subscribe to the channel it really helps the channel a lot and also youtube is going to recommend a video for you to watch please watch it it really helps the channel grow a great deal thank you